Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to TaylorMade Beauty by Chris. I'm Chris. You may notice this is a different setting. Give me just a minute to get into the empties and let's just have a little chat, shall we? So I've missed you. I know that you know, you've had videos on my regular schedule, but honestly, I posted those a few weeks ago because I knew last week was coming up. And last week, I moved my oldest child to college. The good news is they are loving it. It's only an hour away. Uh, they're doing great. They love their roommate. They've made so many new friends. All those things that make my mom heart so happy. And my youngest child turned 16, and for him that meant that he could solo an airplane, meaning, yes, fly it by himself. So he did that not only for one airplane, he did it for four airplanes. He flew a float plane on our lake out here, he flew two tail draggers on a grass strip, and then a 172, which is if you are not familiar with genuine general aviation, and when you think of a small airplane, that's pretty much what you think of. That's what he flew last. So it's been busy, 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 and I did get permission from my oldest child to, at least during the school year, move my studio into their bedroom. So that's my new setting. Let's get into empties, and holy cow, I've got a lot and it's everything there's makeup hair care skin care teeth everything it's all here let's start with with what i feel like is kind of a rarity for me which is there's actually quite a bit of makeup here starting with the tarte base tape double duty beauty primer i really liked this um I am someone who isn't, we'll say I'm not super picky about my primers. Either they work and they work just fine, or they're a horrible disaster. There's not a lot outside of that. So um, I liked this. It was hydrating. Um, I don't really have big pores, so I'm not so much concerned about blurring pores, but helping with fine lines. and this wrinkle right here that's where stuff's gonna settle and this did really help with that so I like that but I have so many more primers to use up before I buy primer again Patrick Ta the lip gloss major glow oh I loved this gloss it's got a little bit of mint in it super pretty just a nice you know yeah, glow. That's why they called it Major Glow. Hello. Um, really no color. So you can kind of see there. Um, and with, you know, we're back to masks. And quite honestly, I never stopped wearing my mask. So I do like a good clear gloss under my mask. Love it. I can't remember how much this is. But, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's high-end makeup. So... Maybe Sephora VIB pickup. I don't know. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I know a lot of YouTubers are going on and on about how fabulous this is. Don't get me wrong. It, it's a great setting spray. Um, it's expensive. It's Charlotte Tilbury, so there's fragrance in it. But honestly, again, my face normal skin, sometimes a little dry. Um, there was really no performance difference between this and my Holy Grail, my Urban Decay, Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm glad I tried it, but I don't need to pick it up. Tarte Found Sealer. I finally finished up this deluxe sample size. I have repurchased this in a full size and I think I'm pretty sure I did a review of it. If I did, it'll be linked at the end right next to the subscribe screen, which is a reminder to show me some YouTube love. Hey, I got it out this time. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, subscribe certainly if you're not subscribed. 
Anywho, moving on, Rare Beauty. This is the Selena Gomez offering. This was a liquid blush. It came in the mini duo something or other from Sephora. I really liked this shade called Bliss. It just was a really nice, oh, I can't even, I tried to get some out, I did it, it doesn't, never mind. It's, it was a really nice light peach, really beautiful for summer. Um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. So again, if I'm going to be buying cream blush, yeah, I might pick that up again. What did not work for me from Rare Beauty, you know, sometimes I've got a couple fails in here. This was in a duo. This is a lip color. And there's, there's nothing wrong with this color. But, oh, hello. <sighs> Mitten, this is Mittens. It's been a long time since <laughs> since Mittens has made an appearance in a video. Hello, cat. Um, as I was saying, there is nothing wrong with this lip color. It's kind of a plum pink shade. Just on my coloring, with my lip color, it does nothing for me. So that's a fail. Also, a bit of a fail from Ofra. This is a matte, uh, it's a lip, lip, good God, it's a liquid, liquid lipstick. And while I like the color, I'm always up for a good, you know, something in the orange rust family. I really like the color. And I was like, okay, well, if I'm back to a mask, maybe I can try to find liquid lipstick so it won't transfer. And this just felt dry. It did not feel good on my lips. So that is going bye bye um, This came in BoxyCharm. Must have been BoxyCharm. And it's a really weird shade. Um, I just think of pollution whenever I think of this shade. It's dark green, but... I don't know. I did try it and please, no. Bye bye. Fail. Oh, here's a good one. NYX uh, Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil. Um, I think this ended up just falling out. There was a little bit left. It's one of those that has kind of an angled end. And then the brush, it doesn't have a spoolie, it's got this brush um, for doing your brows. And I like it. I have a bunch of brow products to go through, but you know, when I run out, I really like the NYX brow pencils. They're a great product. They're a great price. They've never let me down. So that's good. Ah, the Avain, Avine. Uh, I think an E with an accent grave is a long A. So that would be Avain. French, don't you know? Uh, the Sequel fate? See, the lip stuff. I love this stuff. I have it on subscription on Amazon. It shows up every two months. I use this at night because the Laneige, I know people love the Laneige night mask. It dries my lips out. I love the smell. I love the feel. Hate it in the morning. This stuff, I put it on at night. I stay moisturized all night and my lips are beautiful in the morning. What I did not love on my lips was this milk product. Um, what is this called? Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. And it's clear. It's got that, you know, so I was like, oh, well, it's clear. So that's good under masks and it's quite shiny. I don't know why I just put a ton of that on there. But the plumping, whatever they put in for the plumping, it's too much. It bothers my lips. And not a lot bothers my lips, but this stuff totally bothered my lips. Pretty Vulgar, The Powder Room, Matte About It, came in a subscription box. And, uh, you know, it was a fine, a lovely setting powder. Got no problem with it. Have no idea what the price on this is. Absolutely none. I'm sure it's probably in the 20s somewhere, maybe. I don't know. 
Um, again, I get so much setting powder, it, it will be a long time till I need some, so we'll see. And the last bit of kind of makeup, another tube of lip balm going through, again, so much lip balm. And it was summer, right? Summer is not my lip balm season, but masks, dry lips, lots of lip balm. Moving on, a few things teeth related, because that's part of beauty, right? It's a big part of our face, our smile. Um, I love me the Oral-B Glide Floss. I have a couple teeth that are kind of tight together. This gets in between. It doesn't hurt. And, oh, right, part of getting old. I had some tooth sensitivity down here. Years ago, like 10 years ago, I had really bad sensitivity up here. And back in the day, they, um, they grafted skin from the roof of my mouth and grafted it over that area. It was a miserable week or so, but it worked and I haven't had sensitivity there since. So um, my dentist said, hey, give it a tube of sensitivity toothpaste, sensitivity mouthwash. These have provided relief, not 100%, but pretty gosh darn good. He says if, uh, if it doesn't completely go away, then he's just going to use the tooth colored filling and fill it in, which seems a lot nicer than oral surgery. Face stuff. So much face stuff. Inky List Collagen Booster. I did not notice any huge difference in my face because of this product. And my main beef with Inky List Great price, great products, packaging. Why can't you give us, this is like a one ounce size. I'm pretty sure this is a one ounce size. Why not give us a three ounce bottle, a four ounce bottle? Cut down on the packaging. That is my main complaint. I won't be repurchasing it. Um, I went through a, another bottle of Dermatology, the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. If you are not familiar with this, this is a very good dupe for the Ulta MD. I personally like this one better. I find it works and plays better under my makeup for me than the Ulta MD. So I like this one. Plus, when I run a little dry, it's kind of nice. Helps give me some more moisture. Speaking of moisture, Pharmacy Honey Grail, this face oil, I really liked it really 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 liked it um came in <laughs> i sound like a broken record came in a subscription box but this is one i will consider repurchasing i'm using another face oil right now from youth to the people so between the two of them i like them both this is um honey grail um and it smells really good so that is a maybe. Um, milk Vegan Cleanser. This was a fine cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser. Here's my um, kind of my litmus test on cleansers. So my first clean, my first pass is always right here. Um, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is my holy grail. I'm going to get to one that wasn't so great here in just a second. So anyway, this is step one. And then I use my Clear Sonic because I want to make sure I've got everything off. And if my cleanser, when I go to rinse my Clear Sonic brush, if all the makeup doesn't wash out really easily, that's not a cleanser I want to use. So um, this milk was, was fine. Um, it was gentle. It didn't strip my skin, but I want to say I might have been a little more acne prone, maybe oh, just a tiny, tiny bit with this. So I'm not going to be repurchasing it, but if vegan is important to you and you like a gentle cleanser, that might be a good one to try. This was the refresh vitamin C serum from Costco. That was a good, good deal. I, okay, I was, I just came from Costco. I wasn't looking for it, but I didn't see it. So I don't know 
if they still have it. The good thing about it, if you saw my vitamin C video, was it's the right pH. It's ascorbic acid, so it is actually going to do something good for your skin. Timeless just had a sale. I re-upped on Timeless, so it's going to be a while before I need any more vitamin C. Peter Thomas Roth, you know I do a, do a morning mask. Every morning I do a face mask. And this, oh, this is, was the cucumber gel, the green one. So good for putting moisture into my skin. I have a large size. I like it. It's just one of the many, many masks I have in rotation. If you're curious about how many face masks I own, because I've got a couple more empties here, uh, if you want to see a video on face masks, leave me a comment down below. Say, yes, Chris, please do that. So let's talk about the Andalou Naturals, the Coconut Firming Face Mask. I like this. Smells good. It's a quenching, moisturizing face mask. Yes, it was. So, yeah, I think that one I got maybe at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, something. I'd look for it there again. Uh, this one was subscription box. Ahaba uh, Hydration Cream Mask. I really like this mask. Um, I like the Ahaba stuff. I've gotten a few things of theirs in subscription boxes. Um, so much so that I've never actually had to look for this brand. I don't know if I've seen it at Ulta, where I've seen it. But this was a good, this was a good mask. And honestly, if I ever run out of my face mask, I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own empties videos to see which ones I liked. Okay, so be it. Ah, the Ordinary 100% Cold Pressed Marula Oil. I love this stuff. This is the last step in my skincare at night. Um, it is the most affordable version of marula oil I have found. I have already repurchased it. I will keep purchasing it. I liked this, this tart drink of water. I have had good luck with this entire kind of uh, what mermaid line from Tarte. Their hyaluronic, uh, acid serum from this line. Loved it. I bought like a couple bottles of it before I started getting a bunch in. Say it with me. Subscription boxes. Um, I liked this. It was very hydrating. It was a light, let me see if there's anything left in here. No, I used it all up. It was a light um, cream. Very moisturizing. I like that one. Um, also new in my nighttime routine, this Olay let me put it in front of it. There we go. Collagen peptide. Uh, I really like this. Something I'm doing in my skincare routine has caused my face to retain a lot more moisture. I get a facial every month. My esthetician has a device that measures the moisture level in my face. And I went from always being like in the low 20s when I came in to being in the low 60s. So that is huge, huge change. Part of it, I believe, is this. Part of it is a new device I have. I bought the droplet. I've been using the droplet for about two months. I've been doing deep dive research on what's in those capsules that I'm using from droplet. And I will be doing a video here in the next couple of weeks for you, telling y'all about it. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I put that up. Uh, let's just talk about this, this Elemis Superfood um, Cleansing Butter. The first couple of nights I used it, I really liked it. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I find something I like even better than Clinique? And the more I used it, the less I liked it. Like, it does not feel good. You get in your eyes. To me, it stings. And my Clinique Take the Day Off doesn't do that. Clinique Cleansing Balm does a lot better job on tough mascaras. This one, not so much. So, mm, that was kind of a failure. Let's wrap up face stuff. Um, Korean skincare, are any of y'all kind of getting obsessed with Korean skincare that you can get on Amazon? 
I got this little sample pack from, what is this brand? Uh, this is called I Do Care, D-E-W, very cute. Um, Sugar Kitten, this is Sugar Kitten. And, e oh, this was a, you can kind of see it, a holographic peel-off mask. And you know, I don't like a peel-off mask. At my age, I'm not peeling anything that's going to pull on my skin. Having said that, this one was really easy to take off. And I I have another one of their face masks, the birthday cake one. Mm. Mm. Okay, Cold Stone Creamery, their birthday cake ice cream is my kryptonite. Oh my God, love, love that stuff. Love me birthday cake. And the mask smells just like cake batter. So, yum to that. Somewhere I got a sample of Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is the lactic acid treatment. My la I think it was my last empties video. I had lactic acid from the ordinary that was in my morning routine as a gentle chemical um, exfoliator. Uh, I'm going to repurchase that and get that going back in my routine again. This is like a little bit more concentrated and you're supposed to use it um, maybe a couple times a week. It was fine, um, but you know, I know Sunday Riley can be a little on the spendy side and I'm just gonna go purchase the stuff from The Ordinary, call it good. Lelash, um, I go back and forth between Lelash and Revitalash. The XL is the one that's supposed to last about three months and I think it did and I ordered another one, but my next one, I'm going back to Revitalash, I think I think it helps my eyelashes to go back and forth between them for whatever their various active ingredients are to keep my lashes happy and long. Hair stuff, next. This, well, I don't know what, why, why is there one dot above the R? Ich habe Deutsch gesprochen, I understand umlauts. This is like half an umlaut and it's over the R. Nobody puts, eh. I rant. Vor, I have no idea what this brand is. Um, this came in a boxy charm. It's a hair mask and scalp detox. It was fine. I still maintain that the um, pant, the pant, no, pantine, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, uh, Elvive, the, the black top and the jar thing is yellow. It's like $6.99 at Target. That is still my go to. Um, hair mask. I've spent a lot of money on hair masks and that $6.99 jar from Target is the bomb. I went through more Curology. That's where I get my uh, my Trentinoin, my Retin-A and what else? Uh, I don't know. The label's completely worn off. I can't remember what else they put in my mix, but I really like it. They custom make it for you. Apparently, they have started another company um, snap, I can't remember what it's called. And that one is supposed to be aimed, like, what they're going to try to do is make Curology more, like, if you're dealing with acne, and this other one, if you're dealing with wrinkles? Sounds like Tretin-A will be in, a Retin-A will be in both? I don't know. I will, I will check it out, and I'll let you know, because I can't remember right now. Um... Why was that in hair? Because it made it to the wrong pile. My bad. Hair. <gasps> oh. Uh, Outre 3, 8 and 1, mad hair magic, elixir, 8, whatever, CDB oil. Okay, I loved this. Loved it. It was beautiful in my hair. It detangled. It conditioned. It was a good styling cream. It heat protected. It made my hair soft. Um, this is a four ounce bottle. It's $30. WTF. That is hella expensive. When I look at most of my hair stuff, you know, it comes in like an eight ounce bottle. That would be $60 if this was an eight ounce bottle. So, uh, 
as much as I really, really loved it. I mean, maybe someone will put it on super sale, be 40% off or something. But, mm, yeah, that's, that's a little bit more than I want to spend on that. Vegemore. Okay, I did it. I gave Vegemore a three-bottle trial. I've got lots of videos on my channel about what I'm doing to stop losing my hair. And I feel like I've got a little male pattern going on here. So I'm not thrilled about that, although I've got little baby hairs. And I got little baby hairs all over the place, and some of them are like teenage hairs, like that. That's a teenage hair. Got to get it growing all the way down here. And I've got those all over. That is from my Laser Hair Max. I have a video on it. It works amazing. I get that this works for a lot of people. They're seeing their hair thicken up, hair grow back, whatever. Not me. Nada. Zip, zero, zilch, no difference. If you've had a different experience with it, that is great. I'm happy for you. Me, I'm not spending any more money with them. It did not work for me. Um, Aveda, a scalp clarifier. Good God. Really, honestly, some one of these days I'll figure out how to put the one on there so you can see it. There we go. Purifying scalp cleanser. This is like before you shampoo, squeeze it on. And, you know, it's all about scalp health these days. Um, man, I, it didn't, it didn't make any miraculous differences in my hair. We're almost done. Let's talk self-tanner. I really liked the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Foam Water, water Mousse. Water Mousse. This was lovely. It has kind of a coconut smell to hide the DHA smell. The only problem is the darkest it comes is medium and medium. And I like kind of a medium dark. So, yeah, I think the problem is if they put enough DHA in here to give you a medium, medium dark, then they couldn't mask the smell with the coconut. So, this might be good in the winter, although I don't really self tan in the winter. I just go pasty white. So, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, this I got forever ago, Bahama Tan. This medium is way darker than the, um, than the L'Oreal medium. And as you can see, you know, it's tinted, so you know where you put it. That's, that's good. It um, comes off on your sheets if you do it at night. It doesn't stain. washes right out. But uh, I can't even remember where I got this. But no, I'm using some other self-tanner right now. Last but not least, lots of deodorant. Um, when I get up in the morning, I slap on workout clothes. I put on crystal deodorant because I have a boatload of it. I bought it for my oldest child. They decided they didn't like it. So I have a bunch of this to use. And then after I shower, I use my Kopari. This is my holy grail. It's what I buy in the Nordstrom sale. So... There you go. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a fabulous day.